Tonight, the Target 12 investigators are following the money trail. We're looking into questions surrounding thousands of dollars donated to help a local high school marching band. The head of the band Booster Club that manages the money tells us she wants a forensic audit. And we found out Dighton police have now forwarded their investigation to the Bristol County District Attorney. Target 12 investigator Walt Buteau has the exclusive details. There are no criminal charges or evidence that money is missing, but there are questions about this Booster Club's tax returns and about how money meant for students was spent. Fundraising for the marching band in rural Dighton Rehoboth adds up to much more than small town nickels and dimes. Take a look at what Target 12 found out about the finances of the Friends of the Dighton Rehoboth Marching Band. The most recent 990 forms filed with the IRS for the 2014 tax year show total revenue for that year was just under $148,000, with the tax exempt nonprofit spending almost all of that on a variety of expenses, including a June 2014 trip to Disney World for the band. To track this down, Melissa Enos is the president of the organization and also a member of the Dighton Rehoboth School Committee. I want to make sure that money that was intended for the kids got where it was supposed to be. The question started over the cost of the band's Disney trips. More questions came after an invoice for the 2014 trip that, according to this letter from an attorney for Disney, cost just over $18,000. Disney claimed the bill was never paid, and that caused a squabble among trip organizers and parents. The theme park eventually cleared the balance, but records indicate the money was never paid. There's no debt hanging over our head from Disney because they were kind enough to forgive it. The controversy prompted Enos to look further into the Booster Club's books. She discovered the district's now former athletic director, Stan Francic, received a fee of $5,500 to plan the trip to Disney, a point that's verified in this letter to the organization's attorney from Francic's attorney. But that's not right either. Enos claims it was a conflict of interest for Francic to accept money from the Booster Club since he had been employed by the district. Francis' attorney denies there was a conflict of interest, but in this letter does acknowledge $19,000 of the money meant for the band was deposited into Francis' business account around the time of the Disney trip. The attorney provided a list for how the money was spent, with almost half of it paid in cash to individuals for various administrative services. Enos tells Target 12 those expenses were never in writing before they were paid and surprised several parents. I mean, they took advantage of a lot of kind parents, a lot of kind and generous and hardworking parents. The Dighton Police Department turned its investigation over to the Bristol County District Attorney's Office, but the DA's office is not commenting at this point. Also, no comment from Francic or his attorney. With the Target 12 investigators in Dighton, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News. New details now in a Target 12 investigators exclusive following the money trail. At 5, we uncovered documents that show the booster club for the Dighton Rehoboth Marching Band raised more than $100,000 in some years for various expenses. And new at 6 tonight, we're looking for answers about how that money was spent. Target 12 investigator Walt Buteau is here now with what he's uncovered. One focus of the current president of the Booster Club is the sharp monetary contrast in the recent IRS filings from the nonprofit. Money that helps the Dighton Rehoboth Marching Band travel to places like Disney World to perform is controlled by the friends of the Dighton Rehoboth Marching Band, and what they raise and spend is tracked with IRS 990 forms that are filed by the tax exempt nonprofit. To track this down, Melissa Enos, who was just elected to the Dighton Rehoboth School Board, became president of the Booster Club in 2014. She is now asking questions about a series of tax filings. In 2014, the organization reported just under $140. $48,000 in revenue. In the two years before, 2012 and 2013, total revenue was about $3,000 each year. In 2011, total revenue was back up to almost $73,000. We have to file amended returns and hopefully in the process of doing like a almost a forensic audit. We may have to make sure that the money is all there. The question started after a June 2014 trip to Disney that, according to Enos, seemed a little expensive to some parents. Then came an invoice from Disney for just over $18,000. Enos tells Target 12 everyone thought the bill had been paid. 
Disney eventually agreed to forgive the debt, but the questions continued. It was later discovered the district's now former athletic director, Stan Francic, received a fee of $5,500 to plan the trip. We had no idea that uh, Mr. Francic was charging a fee. Innes claims it was a conflict of interest for Francic to accept money from the nonprofit. Francic's attorney denies there was a conflict of interest, but does acknowledge $19,000 of the money meant for the band was deposited into Francic's business account around the time of the Disney trip. The attorney provided a list for how the money was spent, with most of it paid to individuals for various services. Among the people who were paid, Steve Grotta, who the letter states received $3,000 in cash. Grotta was president of the Booster Club during the two years when revenue was reported at about $3,000 a year. Enos tells Target 12 those payments to Francis Grotta and the others were never in writing before they were paid and surprised several parents. We uncovered this on my watch, and I want it cleaned up on my watch. Grotta did not return phone calls requesting comment, but his attorney tells us, quote, Mr. Grotta did nothing wrong. He has not been contacted by police or the district attorney's office. Neither Franzik nor his attorney would comment. The case was turned over to the Bristol County District Attorney's Office, but the DA's office is not commenting either. With the Target 12 investigators, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.